What is legal that you think should be illegal? Child marriages. Only two US states have laws that state you have to be 18. Other states have laws where you only need one, or both depending on state, parents permission to marry at any age. Then it is nearly impossible to get a divorce until they are 18 because they are minors. Which is just ironic. Lawmakers exempting themselves from the laws they make. Child beauty pageants. That shit is just plain sinister. Here in Brazil. Public school teachers are not allowed to hold back students who did not achieve minimum grades. That way. Our education stats look good to the foreign organizations and at the same time we have high school graduates who can barely write a coherent sentence or do basic math. This should be abolished. Private prisons. Towing cars needs to be far more regulated. Paparazzi. Drug companies advertising directly to consumers. Aftermarket headlights that are so bright that you can see into next week. Kicking people off of health insurance because they get diagnosed with something like a tumor or ADHD because it's a pre-existing condition. What the hell is health insurance for if you can't treat conditions like that? Breeding animals with deformities and mental issues. Pugs. Pugs should be illegal. They have so many problems they can't even lead a healthy dog life. Bankers bankrupting their banks and getting bailed out by taxpayers instead of having to face the consequences like every other individual would have to. Semicolon. Basically they have a free card. If they FCK up. It's no problem because we will bail them out. If not. They are happy and keep the billions they made to buy a fancy yacht. Semicolon. Releasing the pictures details of people accused of crimes before they are convicted. Lives are ruined by police mistakes false charges. Sirens. That in more than half of the states in the US. If a woman is raped. Gets pregnant. And decides to keep the baby. The rapist then can get custody and visitation rights. And the corollary. Forcing male victims of our pay to pay child support to their rapist. Insulin costing $300. Airlines overbooking. I get that there are no shows and that can cost the airline business. But something about it seems so. Sleazy to me. Apparently Virginia Tech has taken up the practice too. This year they admitted a thousand more students than they had the dorm space for. And tried to offer deferred admission in exchange for paying for tuition but a lot of students rightfully earned their admission and aren't willing to wait a couple years to go to college. So now the university is being forced to pay to put them up in hotels for a full year. Leaving the goddamned shopping cart in a ref king parking space. For politicians to lie. I know this is practically impossible to adjudicate but if a poly is caught having misled people for private gains, examples in Australia are rife. From one nation pushing firearm legislation to Barnaby Joyce's Watergate. They should be fined to the goddamn gills and removed from politics for the rest of their lives. There are few things more damaging to society than corrupt politicians. Forcing workers to go into their shifts if they're physically mentally too sick to come in. Especially when they do everything in their power to find coverage. Advertising directed at children. For profit ambulance companies. Telling college students that they have to buy a book for your class and then never have them use it. Ideally. Gerrymandering. I'm not sure what a good alternative would look like, from what I've heard. It's practically impossible for even a hypothetical third party to draw an unbiased map. But in a perfect world. I would like congressional districts to be drawn in a way that accurately reflects their state's desires. Doxxing. In the modern age people put so much of themselves online. And sites are storing so much of our data that when we put just a little bit of ourselves online. That little bit of us is pretty much impossible to get off the internet. Usually this is no issue. As one would have to search for quite a while to find this information. But when someone is actively taking means to publish this information for everybody to easily find. That is out of your control and shouldn't be allowed. 
facial recognition by private companies. There was an article in the Wall Street Journal yesterday about wealthy families in Chicago granting guardianship of their children to relatives to qualify for financial aid that is reserved for people living in poverty. Companies exaggerating the features of their products, i.e. a cleaning agent that instantly turns your dirty tiles perfectly white. Or only telling the peak numbers, car does xx miles per gallon in super controlled environment. Or making the product look better than it does in real life, frozen food for example. Any kind of thing like this is false advertisement in my mind and should be illegal. Solitary confinement. Inhumane and hasn't shown to reduce crime at all. Just further isolates prisoners. Making them more angry depressed which can cause recidivism. Politicians and political parties taking large donations from companies. Wealthy businessmen. Lobby groups etc. Donations should all be made through as registered government departments and be strictly limited to $1000 per individual per year. With the politician political party only receiving the money without any indication of who made it. Not vaccinating your children. That who are pay victim if they keep the child the rapist can see and get custody of the child. My eyes entering into an agreement with my complex to prevent any of their competitors from offering services. Befouling a public or shared toilet. I share an office with other professionals. Yet half the time the toilets look like they were visited by Bigfoot in a hurry after 3 day old tacos. Taking and releasing pictures of dead people, especially children, in the news before telling their families first. Trust me. Finding out your family is dead from the news before the police tells you in person is horrific. I know from experience. Conversion therapy. Child beauty pageants. The exploitation and desulization of children is wrong and there is no justifying it. Really should be looked at as abuse. To the parents who think they should do this to their children. Get some help. Theft by cop. Better known as civil asset forfeiture. Cops can pull you over in the US. Say I think you've received this $500, or more. People have lost up to tens of thousands. Comma or will use it for some kind of crime. So I'm gonna take it. They don't have to charge you with a crime. They don't have to arrest you. They can just take any value of money and then you must prove you were not going to use it in a crime. Asterisk. That is the antithesis of what the justice system and police should be about. Paparazzi being able to take photos of celebrities kids. The kids have not signed up for anything. With that stated. To go along with that law. Celebrities not being able to do magazine spreads or post photos of their children online under 16 without their consent. Edit. Kids because some dumbasses can't read edit too. I think it's crazy many apps are allowed access to your phone. Especially in files it doesn't need to operate effectively. I also believe tracking cookies in web browsers should be illegal. It doesn't make sense to me. Private owned prisons. Having sex with a dead body. Some countries it's legal and it's gross. But no one ever complains. Robber calls. Smoking while pregnant. Employees should have zero say over what you do off the clock. Or anything that doesn't affect the job. As it is now they can fire you for any stupid reason. Comma employees should have zero say over what you do off the clock. Either you mean employers or you really want to own slaves. Listening to music in public without your earbuds or headphones. Work weeks longer than 40 hours. I work 5 13 hours shifts a week. It feels like I'm never home to see my wife. I'm usually too tired to enjoy my weekends. And I have to cram as many errands into a weekend as possible. Edit. Some people seem to misunderstand what I'm meaning. I'm saying it's morally wrong for companies to force hourly employees to work this many hours. Especially if these companies can more than afford to pay people more to make up the lost overtime. In my state children can smoke cigarettes despite not being able to buy them. Child pageants. 
credit scores. More specifically. The way they're calculated. This thing determines whether you can finance most of life's most important purchases. And it's affected by the most nonsensical shti. And there's three different ones. Anti-vaccination. Bad parking. People repeating as credit questions too much. Tailgating. Pretty sure that is illegal. If not specifically then at least the police can stop you. Or it could contribute to a dangerous driving charge. That is illegal. Unfortunately you rarely see cops doing anything about it. That a sitting president in the U.S. Can apparently not be charged with a crime while still president. Lobbying in government. And campaign donations. Being allowed to pierce baby's ears. Utter BS. F-king horses. Is F-king in this case an adjective or a verb? Allowing transgender females to participate in women's sports championship. Voting without an ID. You be a bolivagon having the top 5 comments on this thread should be illegal. Unlimited terms for politicians. Allowing children in a movie theater after 9 p.m. I would like to watch the new Disney movie without little Timmy talking through it. Bullfighting. Hunting homeless people for sport. Fairly sure that is illegal. For profit churches. What about for profit churches? Commercials for prescription drugs. Heating up salmon in the office microwave. Karen. Smoking. Assaulting people with different political viewpoints. Oh. Wait. Tell that to our politics. Male circumcision. Especially on kids that can't even give their consent to it. Religions and cultures that encourages it are barbaric amo. Edit. Unless you need one for medical reasons. Duh. Advocating games that will most likely give some people gambling addictions as a kid's game. NDAs have been used very unethically. Lots of people manipulating others who don't understand the law as well to get them out of the way. Just having f-king kids willy-nilly. If you so much as slap a person you're in jail for assault. But have a baby on a whim or as a careless accident. And it's perfectly legal to ruin that child's whole life as long as they've got a pair of clothes and a meal every day. Wrong. Any deterrent at all would be excellent. Comma any deterrent at all would be excellent. Trust me when I tell you. You do not want the gov telling people who can and who cannot have a baby. This is a hell of a slippery slope. Private prisons should be illegal. They should be found unconstitutional. Male circumcision without a medical need. In Tennessee it is completely legal for a therapist to deny service to their patients for being LGBTQ+. This does extend to many other areas as well. But the therapist one just seems to get to me. Anything regarding bullying. Exposing or humiliating people. It's a real problem. Especially in schools. Yet it seems nobody does something about it.